<laughs> yes, guys. So I want to show you guys something as well, which you can use for your trading and you can add it into your like basket of tools, essentially as a trader. And it will give you more validation of when you're looking for some potential bounces or whatever to the upside or to the downside in a different sort of market sentiment. But right now, what we see, this is a total, total market cap excluding BTC. So this is total two. What we've seen is obviously I've had this key area of daily um, support chart on same principles as across all the other assets that I, the way I mark up these charts, look at the accuracy of these taps. And we see it accurately tap it the other day. And then look, we've seen it today bounce. Doesn't this mimic the Astar chart really, really nicely that we spoke about just before. And then also another thing I want to talk about is BTC dominance is actually down on the day and we've hit resistance. What you have to try and think about is <clears throat> if BTC dominance drops in a, in like a, euphoric, uh, bullish sort of sentiment market, and it starts to retrace, it's, it doesn't, it's not, it's not necessarily negative for Bitcoin or the market. What it suggests is that the liquidity is moving from BTC into other altcoins. Essentially it's people, traders or whoever, or market participants will be taking some of their BTC and putting it into other asset classes, which is what you see here. So when the total two is increasing, so this is the total two market cap is increasing it's got the values increasing of, of the total two market cap and BTC dominance is dropping. It suggests that the liquidity is going from BTC into the altcoin market as a whole, which is why you can see these, this beautiful correlating sort of divergent, um, analysis here where BTC dominance has hit resistance and we're retracing and we're looking to seek this target. And then the total market cap has bounced beautifully off this level 62, no, sorry, 621 billion. And it's bounced beautifully off there and it's reacted nicely. And then that's why you're seeing that bounce across the alts. So that's how you can also frame ideas. And this is a little quick lesson on how you can apply this sort of stuff to your trade and mark up the charts exactly the same as how I've been sort of shown in the videos. Look at these levels. They're not random, but been really well respected as resistance multiple times and support multiple times. And then obviously within recent context, we've had some really nice bounces in and around this region. And it's no surprise now that we're seeing a massive reaction from this region. And then you can sort of anticipate it's never hundred percent, but you can say, okay, so we may be targeting around 663 billion now, because this is like the next area of key resistance where we could potentially see price come to. We may not, we may even find sort of resistance around here or, or whatever the market wants to do, but you can still frame ideas based on what the market caps are doing and what BTC dominance is doing as well, because now it looks okay. So BTC dominance, we may be seeking these lows again of 52.18%. And then when you start to correlate all these things, and then you look, say, for example, Astar. Okay. So now we bounced off Astar. It aligns nicely with the total two market cap chart. And then obviously as BTC dominance decreases, it may suggest more liquidity may go into the alts and then we can maybe seek these higher, higher prices. So if you got in at this trade, it may give you a little bit more confidence that the market may approach the 0 0.0667 region for profit taking and so on and so forth. So that's, how, that's another little addition that I wanted to show you guys so you can apply this to your trading or to your, even to your investing as well. If you can see that these market, the way these markets move and all of this analysis, it doesn't have to just be from a trader's perspective. You can use these zones and these, and these areas of price as, you know, like checkpoints in order to get in, maybe offload some uh, of your profits and, and maximize and optimize your potential gains on whatever asset you're investing in. So yeah, that's just a little lesson because it's, it's nice for you guys to get involved in that and start to apply that to your trading. If so, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out to you guys so you can see it. Okay, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.